As gunfire erupts at a prayer vigil, moments later, police shoot a suspect just two blocks away. Fox 8 News reporter Kathleen Cockrell is right in the middle of this gunfire. She joins us now. Kathleen, this had to be a frightening experience for you and our photographer. You know, it really was. And this was supposed to be a peaceful vigil for a 13-year-old killed by random gunfire. Instead, it turned into a shootout with dozens of people, including myself and photographer Dave Bradford, running and ducking for cover. We ask Almighty God to keep us mindful of the fact that life is sacred. It started out a peaceful and moving vigil for 13-year-old Terrence Bogey Allen, who was shot and killed by random gunfire last Friday. I'm just going to miss my son. I really miss my son. I love you, Bogey. Then the vigil quickly turned from peaceful to violent. We were interviewing Bogey's best friend when this happened. Dozens of people take off running, screaming, now crying not just for the boy who lost his life, but out of fear. They shooting out there. Moments later, police show up and the chaos continues. Officers find these shell casings, and as they are interviewing witnesses, another round of shots. Just a few blocks away at Superior and Addison, police are in a shootout. But with those hands up, that's when, the, that's, when, that's when the gunshots just start going off. And the boy went straight down to the ground, dead. I mean, he ain't dead, but he, he went straight to the ground. Police say an officer witnessed a man with a gun push a woman off a bus. Police pursued the 20-year-old man on foot, and officers say they fired when the suspect pulled out a gun. They ordered him to stop, surrender. The male reached into his waistband, produced a handgun, pointed at the officers. The officers opened fire, striking the male in the arm. That suspect is now recovering at Huron Hospital. All this chaos and violence on a night that was dedicated to stopping the violence. Activists say what we witnessed tonight is just a glimpse of what happens in parts of Cleveland every day. You just got a taste of it, but at night, Families with children have to get on their floor, but cover so much gunshot. They have to get under their bed. Sister, this, if this ain't a little Iraq with all this gunshot, there isn't none nowhere. Well, it's not known if the suspect that police shot is the same person who fired shots at the vigil. Meantime, there are still no leads or suspects in the shooting death of 13-year-old Terrence Bogey Allen, which again is why we were there at that vigil in the first place, Bill and Stacey. It is crazy that children and good families have to live with uh, gunshots ringing out. There's no excuse, yeah. yeah. All right. Thank you, Kathleen.